everyone and welcome back to my channel! You know guys, actually the idea of this makeover I've got from your comments. You know, almost in every single video I ask you to write your ideas in the comments and you know, your comments are actually one of the biggest sources of inspiration for me. I have a special map on my phone and on my laptop where I save all the ideas, I save the, the pictures that I find, I know, anywhere on the internet, on Pinterest, just anywhere, anything can become a source of inspiration for me. And there I also have a text document where I write down all the ideas, all your suggestions that I get from the comments under my videos. And you know, of course, I cannot make all of the dolls that you ask me to make, but all of them so or so land in my list with doll ideas. And you know, every time when I'm thinking about my future creations, when I'm working on my planning for the next couple of weeks, I always go to this text file and I always go through all these ideas that I've got from you and I just, I don't know, expect something to click, you know, it's quite an irrational process, it just needs to happen, you know, something like this, like, yes, I want to make it, I want to make it right now. And this is exactly what has happened to this doll today. Uh, actually, this idea, it didn't even get to the list with doll ideas, because really immediately the moment when I've seen your comment where you asked me to make a Marlene Dietrich doll, I immediately texted my mom that yes, 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 I want to make a Marlene Dietrich doll. It's such a bright idea. Let's make it immediately. So you see how it works. That's why please don't hesitate to let your ideas in the comments under this video and under my other videos. Because yes, one day I'm gonna see them and one day your ideas are going to really resonate with me and one day I'm probably going to make a doll that you want to see right now. So thank you so much for being my inspiration, thank you so much for being my motivation as well. And today, as you could see it from the thumbnail, we are going to make a Marlene Dietrich doll. And you know, guys, I had actually absolutely zero doubt about the look that I want to recreate today. I had just one option available because I really want to make her look in this man's costume that she wore for the very first time in the 1930. Oh my God, it's almost 100 years ago, 90 years ago. And she wore it in the film Morocco. And of course, you can imagine for the 1930, it was a huge shock and a huge provocation, a woman wearing a man's suit, a man's hat, man's shoes, like a complete man's outfit. It was really a huge provocation for the time. And of course this look has become a signature look for Marlene Dietrich and it also has become an iconic look and it stays iconic till now. Even now you can see people, for example, cosplaying this look for Halloween or for some other events. So we are going for this uh, man's costume from Morocco and I think I'm going to make a black and white doll today. I've made it just once on my channel before. It was about a year ago, no, not a year ago, it was probably in November or in December last year when I've made a Scorpio doll. It was also a completely black and white doll repaint and it looked absolutely amazing. So I think I want to make my Marlin Dietrich doll black and white as well. And the only problem that I have here, or it's not even a problem, it's a doubt, uh, I don't really know which doll to use. Of course, my first impulse was to take a Spectra doll, because of course she has already this paper white skin tone, because she has this, you know, cheeks the same like Marlin Dietrich, so yes, of course it was my first idea to grab a Spectra doll, but you know what? This Scorpio doll that I've just told you about, it was also made on base of a Spectra doll. So if I now take another Spectra doll and I make something black and white retro style, 
I'm a little bit scared to be kind of repeating myself. I don't want to make a very similar doll, like, you know, making just two black and white dolls on my entire channel, and both of these black and white dolls would be made on base of Spectra Wondergaze doll. So, I had to think a little bit farther, because, you know, actually, Morocco, this is quite a early film of Marlene Dietrich. It's actually one of her first films that made her popular. The Blue Angel and Morocco, it's 1929, 1930. And actually, Marlene Dietrich was extremely young in those films. Well, extremely young. She was something like 29 years old, 30 years old. That is, of course, that is definitely not old, and her face was actually more round at the time. She didn't have that prominent skull bones here, these cheeks. Her face was more round, and that's why I think I have another doll that can become an ideal Marlin Dietrich today. But wait, actually, I have forgotten this doll upstairs because I have my dolls upstairs here in my studio. Nothing fits anymore. And all these big boxes uh, with dolls I keep upstairs. So I'm going to bring it from upstairs now very quickly. And I will show you in a second what I have chosen as a perfect canvas for my black and white Marlene Dietrich doll. So here is the doll and I think she will be just perfect. I will, of course, remove the ears, but for the rest, her nose, her cheeks, it all looks very much like Jan Marlene. And it will also be very interesting for me to repaint this doll in a retro black and white style, because I've never tried it before. So, let's start, and first of all, I will cut her hair, and then I will cut her ears off. Then I work her head up with a hair dryer to make the rubber soft to be able to disconnect it from the body. And then I remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. And then the next step is removing her makeup with pure acetone. And now, guys, we will fix some things with sticky warbler thermoplastic. And first of all, I want to close the holes on her head that we've got after removing the ears. And after this, I still want to cover also these holes on the back, because, you know, I'm not planning to make wings for my Marlin Dietrich doll.
And then she still needs a pair of normal human ears. I went through my stock and I have found this doll that I've used for experimenting with warbler. You know, I wanted to see how good different types of warbler stick to doll faces and bodies. So I cannot use her face anymore because these traces are impossible to remove. Of course, it means it was a very successful experiment. And right now this doll can donate her ears to our new project today. So thank you, miss, for this beautiful pair of ears. And now let's glue them to the doll's head using sticky warbler again. And it's very important to place them really symmetrically. Okay, looks good. Now let's quickly sand the body with the nail buffers to make it matte. And then we'll cover both the face and the body with a couple of layers of white acrylics. You can see now how glossy her face is after applying the acrylics. It would be absolutely impossible to draw on it, but if I spray it with 2-3 layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, it will become matte and I will be able to use pencils and pastels on it. I've picked up a couple of reference pictures and now I can start sketching her face. Very thin and round eyebrows were the biggest beauty trend in the 30s. And of course they have become one of Marlene Dietrich's special features. Then I start working on the skin tone and since we're going for a black and white look today, I will use just white, grey and black colors. And I want the shadows to be quite contrast, because this is how Marlene Dietrich looked on pictures and in her films. There was a special way to place lights around her to create these famous shadows on her cheeks. And also the lights helped her to look much younger than she really was till the very, very end of her career. And then I drew the highlights using my white watercolor pencil. And in the very end I still add contrast accents to her eyes using white acrylics. Okay, now you can see that her body looks absolutely paper white next to the face. So let's blush it as well. And for this I will first spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then we will use the same grey pastels to make the shadows on her body. Okay. 
Okay, now the face and the body can be used together and I can move on to her hairstyle. I will use this white yarn for it and first of all we need to turn it into hair. And first of all I will cut this yarn into shorter pieces. Then I tie these pieces around barbecue sticks. The next step is making the yarn loose and after this I will brush it with the cat brush. If you've seen this process before in my videos, then you know, of course, that the next step is normally making her hair straight using my hair straightener. But I think I'm going to change the routine today and we will keep her hair wavy because these soft waves might really help me later when I will style it. So now I'm going to attach this hair to the doll's head using tacky glue and then I will let it dry overnight. So this is how it looks the next day and now I can start cutting and styling her hair and we are going for this hairstyle from the picture. It's a very short wavy bob. So first of all I'm going to cut her hair much shorter like to, to create the right length. And then I will take an eyebrow razor and I trim the ends and make the hair cut like nicer and in general prettier. And then I fix her hair with hair clips and I will let it sit like this for sure for 8 hours. So I will let it like this for now and while I'm waiting we can talk about her outfit and accessories. My mom is helping me with the outfit today and now you can see her work in progress video.
As I told you already in the beginning of this video, we are going for the man suit that Marlene wore in the Morocco movie for the first time. And you can see it now on the picture. It exists out of very white pants with satin straps on the sides and this is what my mom is making right now you can see it now and there is also a short or a blouse with a bow uh, also there is a white vest and there is also a costume tail coat so this is quite a complicated costume with a lot of pieces and my mom is going to make it better than myself After making the pants, my mom starts working on the short. After attaching the sleeves, my mom is making a collar and she is also sewing it to the shirt or to the blouse. I don't know how to call it. No, yeah, if it's a man's costume, then it's probably a shirt. Then she adds a white bow and after this she attaches a couple of beads to imitate the buttons. And then after making the shirt my mom starts working on a tiny vest. And then it's finally time for the most complicated part of the outfit, a tail coat. And my mom is starting with readjusting her sewing pattern to add a tail to the back of the coat. Now you can see she cut out this pattern out of black fabric and then she starts putting everything together. And in the end you can see she has attached the collar and then she's going to attach the sleeves.
So here is the finished outfit and this time it's arrived really quickly by the way. I didn't have to wait for five weeks like the Arya's outfit. This time it arrived, I don't know, something like in two weeks or something like this. So I'm very happy about it because it's another very detailed outfit that took my mom quite a long time to make. So it would be very sad if the post lost it. But yeah, I'm happy it didn't happen because look how perfect everything is and this is so difficult to sew all these teeny tiny pieces with all these teeny tiny details. So now I still need to complete this outfit with a hat and with a pair of shoes. So let's start probably. I don't know, I'm going to start probably with the hat because it's easier and I'm going to use white warbler to, I don't know, like to keep everything in this project black and white, that there is no inside of the head that shows brown colors or something like this. I want to be absolutely everything black and white. So I warm the warbler up and I make a hat out of it. If we take a look at the reference pictures, we will see that her head is actually quite big and it's sitting quite deep on her head. It's a real man's hat, not a lady's smaller hat, like some hat accessory. It's a real man's hat, so let's make it also big enough to be able to sit deeper on her head. Now let's paint it with black acrylics and then we can move on to the shoes. Like I told you, making a hat it wasn't really difficult. So, the shoes, I'm taking my white warbler again and I'm going to make a pair of classic man shoes. This is what Marlene Dietrich wears with this costume, just black and shining leather shoes, man shoes.
And here are the hat and the shoes, both look good to me. So now let's finish her hairstyle because she's sitting with this hair clips already for, I don't know, for 24 hours probably. And this is the final hairstyle. I think it looks quite similar to the reference picture. And you know, it wasn't an easy hairstyle to make because working with short hair on dolls is always more complicated. So I'm really satisfied with the end result. Well, and now let's attach the false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and after this we will put everything together, and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. So, and here is finally my finished doll, a mini version of Marlene Dietrich. And you know, I think she looks quite different than the rest of my dolls that I've made here already on my channel. Yeah, quite different than all these 300 dolls that I've made already. And really, I love how elegant and how at the same time very mysterious she is. And I'm also very happy that she doesn't look similar like my black and white Scorpio doll that I've mentioned in the beginning of this video. I tell you, I'm really happy I could avoid repeating myself. And you know, I'm also a huge fan of this outfit. It really feels like my mom is just getting better and better in it. And guys, I will put this doll for sale on eBay, so if you wanted to adopt her, you can check the link in the description box under this video. So, and now guys, I'm looking forward, first of all, to hear your opinion about this doll. And then I would also love to hear your ideas for my future dolls. Who else should we make? What diva, what celebrity or what historical characters would you love to see here on my channel? Of course, guys, I cannot promise to make all of them, but you know, all of them will so or so land in my list with doll ideas. So maybe you will see some of them or all of them or many of them in the future with my future videos. So guys, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon, normally next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye!